All right, so we finally got the wheels and tires put on the Hummer. Looking pretty spiffy. They actually been on it, man, probably about uh, two weeks. Some shit like that. So I think they look pretty dope. It's a 35, 12 and a half, 20. I think I want to go up to uh, 37. 12 and a half, 20. That way, um, I ain't got to do a lift kit. That's as big as I can go without a lift, so. I think they look pretty good on that motherfucker, though. I don't like the skinnies, man. Them motherfuckers ain't durable. Potholes, tear them bitches up, and will burn your bank account to shit, so. My brother, he's got a uh, 2013 F-150 extended cab on 28s. He done went through, man, probably about four sets of fucking tires. You're talking about $300 a pop. Fuck that. I'm good. So, yeah, that's what we got going on. I'm going to take it and drop it in the shop. First part of next week. Get a couple of little things situated with it. Yeah, she mounted up looking pretty. Loving that. Then I had to replace the um, HVAC, the blower motor. It went out on me about a month ago. Took a week for that to get here. And turned around and found out that the damn uh, blower, blower motor resistor was bad too, so. Now I'm waiting on that to get here. But here's another little surprise. Oh shit. Picked this bad motherfucker up last weekend. 68 Chevelle. Came with the Power Glide, two speed in it. Had a 307 in it, but uh, the guy that I bought it from, he bought it from this old guy who had it sitting up in his garage or whatever for, fuck, I don't know, he said it was sitting in his garage since like 1983 or some shit, 84. Old guy got sick and I had to sell it. So he bought it for the 307 because he's got a 70 or 71 Chevelle. And he wanted the 307 to go in there because that's the going thing with that year. So, uh, it's pretty much a roller because I ain't doing shit with that uh, power glide. It's actually up for sale on Craigslist. But, y'all can see what I'm working with. You can see the 307 badge on it. Got the 15 inch Corvette rallies on it for right now. All that shit will be coming off. Doing this with one hand, so work. I don't feel like taking this cover all the way off, but I uh, see so y'all can see this motherfucker. Right, yeah, there she go, man. But when I tell you that this motherfucker is about 98% rust free. Floor pans are perfect, front and back, firewall is perfect, valence in the back is perfect, trunk floor perfect, um, even around the windows, perfect. So I ain't got to worry about none of that. It's got all the glass in it. I am going to pull all the glass out and uh, put brand new uh, adhesive in. Uh, replacing all of the weather stripping because it all pretty much looks like this here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's you know been in there since 1968, so it's coming out. All the weather stripping, I'll be replacing that quarter with a uh, patch panel. I'm not doing the whole quarter because it don't need it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Just 
the only spot on the floor. That ain't shit. That's easy work right there. Easy work. I started pulling it apart. I got it. It came home. Um, kicked it off the trailer last Saturday. Saturday night about 8 o'clock. And uh, Sunday morning I came out and started busting it down. Because our fucking mice, man, that had set up camp in this motherfucking had mouse shit everywhere. In the vents, behind the panels, all back behind the, uh, you know, the side, quarter, inside panels, all that shit. So I started pulling all that shit out, vacuumed it out. Still got to do the doors yet. And then hit it up with some uh, disinfectant. Um... I'm going to pop the dash loose apart and uh, clean up all back there, inspect all the wiring, make sure it's cool and 100 and everything does not. Uh, there might be a mouse chew that's getting replaced. Update the fuse box. Y'all heard that door shut. Solid rockers. She ready though, man. shit right there that ain't nothing that ain't nothing that's a patch panel repair mm-hmm mm -hmm. and I've been trying to get out work early all week man so I can go and uh swing by the interior shop up here a couple of miles from the house and get an estimate on getting these seats redone but Fucking can't get off working time. They close at like five, so or maybe I hit the email. See if they got an email and I can send them some pictures and they can shoot me an estimate. That's quarter work, easy. And this quarter work down here, that's easy too. So yeah, we rocking like cut off stocking, man. Peep that shit. That's coming right off. Yeah, she ready, man. 68 Chevelle. Yo. Get the doors recovered. Yeah, she good to go, yo. I'll holler at y'all later.